on top of the leather chat. This is the best place to have a chat. Sat on the leather in a work environment, not in some studio messing about. This is real life with real events and real facts. Now, I've done a video the other day about the flame properties on these blow torches, like when it's on full blast like this, and when it's on low like that. So many people got the whole point of the video completely wrong. It wasn't about the amount of time both take to heat up a pipe. It wasn't about making the pipe glow. It was nothing about that. But everybody was commenting, oh, are you making that pipe too hot? Oh, are you, it's glowing red. Oh, it's this and oh, it's that. And they all missed the point. The whole point about the video is regulating your flame size to the correct size of flame required to do a solder joint. Now, I don't do brazing if i did brazing i'll make my flame quite higher but not always like that because number one you got a massive amount of gas that you're wasting when your flame is really huge that's called the oxidizing flame and that's not a good flame because you're introducing so much oxygen to your flame that you're actually creating debris and dirt in your flux you're not only burning your flux away but you're actually creating an oxidization and that oxidization prevents you from having a clean solder so by turning your flame down you are relying on that center tip that center point that you don't see because it's invisible to your naked eye but flame actually consists of two tips that tip and the inner tip which is round about midway of your flame actually furthermore as this one is adjusted it's round about there now that flame is your hottest point and you don't need to increase that like that because all you're doing is you're introducing oxygen and loads of spillage on your flame and that flame isn't good at all so it's not about how fast you can hit the pipe it's how efficient you can hit the pipe your solder shouldn't melt because of the amount of flame that you introduce your solder should melt on the heat of the pipe not through the heat of the flame now come on i'm no top notch absolutely know it all mr plumber but i do have a little bit of experience when it comes to blow torches and flames and metal properties and stuff like that because believe it or not in another lifetime and still as a hobby i'm a jeweler i create stuff out of copper pewter gold and silver i do quite a lot of soldering so i've got quite a lot of experience when it comes to soldering and flame properties and heat properties and maybe that's a bit of an advantage that i have you know what i was gobsmacked the video got over 1 million views on tiktok with loads of comments unfortunately only a very few number of people actually got the point of the video not many else did and the one thing that really baffled me is someone saying that when you've got a very low flame you're actually introducing oxidization and dirt into your gas and that's gonna oxidize your pipe work and what a load of trollic the more oxygen you got the more of an oxidizing flame you have and the more carbon you're going to introduce to the metal you're working on bigger isn't always better you'll save on gas with a controlled flame and you'll get a better solder joint i hope you enjoyed this video have a nice day and if you like what you see consider subscribing but enable those notifications so you get notified on all my future videos